Okay guys, we've all been there. We've all hit that curb on our brand new rims and scuffed them up real nice. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to fix it. To get what I'm gonna need for this job, I'm going down to my local paint store down at VG Auto Paints. Okay, some stuff we're gonna need. We're gonna need some sandpaper, grading from 600 down to 240 and then 150. We've got some bog, we've got some masking tape, we've got our edge primer, and finally we've got our top coat over here. Start by sanding down the job. Use your coarse sandpaper to start and then work your way up to a bit of a finer one after you've got the bulk of it off. Use the heavy one at first though because that'll get the bulk of the scratches out. Next, clean the job with some wet and grease remover. This stuff's great, comes in a can, just spray it on, wipe it off, and make sure it's dry before you start doing anything else. Next, we need to use our bog. So get a bit of a piece of cardboard I've got here. It's not great, but it works. Get your bog out. Generally, the rule for the hardener is just a strip down the middle. My can says 2%, so you can either do the maths or just sort of guess it like I've done. Generally though, a strip down the middle, you should be sweet. Make sure when you're applying it, you apply it nice and lightly. That way it saves you a lot of effort later when you've got to sand it all back. Here's our job after it's been bogged up and it's all dried. This is just to give you an idea of what it looks like. You can see I've shaped it where it needs to be shaped and filled it. So from here, we're gonna sand it back and see how we go. Start with a fine grit um, if, you're, if you can get away with it. Otherwise, use a bit of a heavier coarse sandpaper. You can see I've swapped here. That'll get most of it off, but make sure you inspect your job regularly. You do not wanna take it down too far, otherwise you're gonna to have to bog over it again. It's not a big deal if you do, but it just means doing more work. So just make sure it's all nice and smooth, that's what you want. Mask up your whole job and spray everything down with some wax and grease remover again. Wipe it down with a rag or a tack rag if you've got one. I'd highly recommend them, they're three bucks from your local hardware store, they save you a lot of effort. Just make sure everything's clean and dry. Make sure everything's dry before paint. First off, we're gonna coat it with a light coat of uh, etch primer. I'm doing it on each of my spokes because I've got uh, scratches and stone chips all over the thing. On your second coat, give it a bit of a harder hit. Don't go too heavy though, because you will get runs. It is just primer, so you can sand it off, but the less work, the better. After you've sprayed it and it's dried, give it a bit of a hit with some 600 grit, just to scuff it up. This will be perfect, ready for our top coat. Now that it's all sanded back, we're ready for color. So put your first coat on nice and light. Apply about three to four coats all up until you're happy with it. Make sure you blend it in, so that way it looks nice and consistent and you won't actually see the repair by the end of it. All right, so I've let my paint dry overnight. Now let's do a bit of an inspection. From here, looks pretty good actually. Like, unless I told you where the scratch was, you probably wouldn't know. But it was down here where all that gutter rash was. You can see there's a little bit of a ridge in the bog where I haven't quite sanded it properly but it's got rid of all my stone chips on all my corners, which is good. Looks pretty consistent overall. Quite happy with that. Now let's go whack it on the car and see what it looks like. Just remember when you're tightening a wheel, do it in a star pattern to ensure it's an even distribution of load, and away you go. Gently lower the car down, don't want to do this bit too quick, and get it on the ground nice and safe. Alright guys, there you have it, it's back on the car. Looks all nice. Nice and consistent, no more stone chips. You can see this is where the original damage was. 
there's a little bit of a mark there where I haven't done it quite properly, but apart from that, I mean, you can't even see it back here. It's only when you go looking for it, and even then, you know, like, <laughs> you're hard pressed, but yeah, no stone chips, nothing. So, happy with that. It's consistent with the front. Beautiful, what a job. Save yourself some money, just do it yourself. All right, guys, there we go. Gutter rash, all nice and repaired. You can barely even see where the job was. I'm not gonna point it out. If you can find it, good luck. If you can't, it means it's a good repair. So I'm quite happy with that. That's my first attempt ever at doing this sort of thing. So if I can do it, you can do it too. Have a go. There you go. Where you go. So many goes. Just say go. Go, I'm gonna go.